guys, welcome to my home. So here is my outside porch. It's really windy today, so sorry if you can't hear me. Coming forward here. I just have our welcome mat. This is from Hobby Lobby. And then don't mind the ground here. This is just dirty and we just have to wash it. And then I just have a plant there. And then this lantern is from TJ Maxx. And this welcome sign is just from like a local um, consignment store that I ended up buying and then my summer wreath is a DIY I mean Carly made for spring and I'll make sure to link it up above for you guys but it looks so good on the front door as you come over here this is just a wide open spot right here and I plan to put some rocking chairs but I'm gonna wait till they go on sale after the summer so let's go ahead and go inside all right, you guys, when you walk in the front door here, you are greeted by just this mat in our little entryway. And so this rug here is from Walmart. I did show it in our um, Walmart decor on a budget. And our flooring is actually by Home Depot and it's in the color Vintage Pewter. And I can try to link it below for you guys. And so when you walk in here, we just have our entry closet. We have a vase just kind of sitting there. And then you will also notice we just have like our staircase. And then as you turn the corner here is the entryway. So the bench I can link down below for you guys. I'm just not sure if they ship everywhere in the US. The Our Nest pillow is from Amazon. That vase down there I got from Goodwill, but it is from Target. And then there's this um, home is where my dog is. That was just from a store here in town. And then as you come up here, it's just a wreath that I got from another consignment store here. And then just like a little coat rack. We don't really obviously use it, but and then this sign I got from Hobby Lobby. And then our light fixture, which I really absolutely love, is from Wayfair. I can also link that down below and I'll try to find as many links as I can for you guys, but I love the way it looks when the light is on. So then coming this way, I just have a end table here. And then I just have this big metal wall art that is from Hobby Lobby and then on the table here I just have like this little candle holder and this is actually from the Goodwill and this candle's just from Walmart and then here I just have these custom coasters that I made from Shutterfly and then just a family photo and then this ta end table here is actually from the thrift store as well and I just ended up painting it with some spray paint. So moving further out. We have our um, couch here. And our pillows are from Amazon. They're just a pillow cover and um, also this home pillow I have said before that I got from Walmart. Then coming over in like this little corner here. That gr gratitude sign right here is from Hobby Lobby. This three tier stand is from Walmart. And then the bottom down there I just have extra blankets. That's a craft that my mother-in-law made. And this plant is from TJ Maxx. 
And then on the top shelf there, um, I'm not sure where I got either of these ones. I've had them for quite some time. And then over here, um, this little filing shelf here, and I just have some little knickknacks in there and then also our wedding album. And then I just have some magazines, computer, our computer down there and all of that. And then this is our entertainment center. And we ended up actually getting this from Sam's Club. I don't think they still have it because I would say we got it maybe like three years ago. And then we just have our TV mounted. And then we just also have like this little bar right there that hides our cords. And you can get that from like your local hardware stores. And then I just have my dog's toys right over there. She has plenty of them because she gets a monthly bark box. I'll leave that down below for you guys if you want to check that out. And then this is just a blanket ladder that my mom got me for Christmas. And I just put assortment of different blankets on there. And then as you turn here, we have the fireplace. And on the top there I have shiplap. And then we just did stone and a mantle. And this Let's Stay Home sign is from Hobby Lobby. And then I got that lamb's ear wreath from Hobby Lobby. The candlesticks are from Kirkland's. The R and the cotton is also from Hobby Lobby. And then there is what the fireplace looks like when it's on. I'm gonna just back up here for you guys. This rug is actually a gift from my parents that we've had for quite some time. It is from Lowell's and it works really well in this space and I do like the color. And then we just have our love seat right here and it's nice because it has the um, cup holders and it also reclines. And then we just have a really big window that looks out towards the backyard. All right, so then as we turn the corner here, we kind of go into like the kitchen area and then we also have our staircase landing. And I love the way that that looks as you walk in the door and it's just kind of like a vocal point. And then coming over here is just our dining room, part of our dining room, I guess, but I really wanted this wall for different decor pieces. So I'm gonna kind of explain everything where I got it all. And so this plant here is from Michael's. This table is from TJ Maxx, and the lantern is from Hobby Lobby. The plant is from Family Dollar, and then that sign there is from Walmart. And then that letter R is Hobby Lobby, Kirkland's, that it's a DIY that me and Carly made, so I can link that up above. And then those cottons are a gift from my husband. He got from like a local craft fair. And then on top there, those galvanized tins you can get from Kirkland's and Hobby Lobby. And then I just put some greenery in there. And that home sign is from Smallwoods and I'll make sure to link that below. All right, so now as you come over here, this is our entryway to our garage. I just have a rug from Walmart. And then there's our garage door and we have like a little paw print thing for my dog's leash. And then this little keychain thing my husband got me, so I'm not sure where that's from. And then we have a little wall there, and that's the kitchen. And then as you walk forward here, there's this tiny little hallway, and it says, Welcome to our nest. And then we also have like another coat closet. And then this is where our half bath is. So as you walk forward here, you're in the half bath now and we just have like this white cabinet and the mirror is from Ross and our lighting is from Lowell's. And then we just carried the laminate floor all the way through the house there. And that rug is from Ross. And then I put shiplap well, actually, made my husband put shiplap all along the wall here, and I love the way that looks. And then this little shelf here is from Hobby Lobby, and it 
everything on there is from Hobby Lobby besides the toilet paper. <laughs> and then if you turn the corner here, I just have this vase. And this was also in our Kirkland's decor on a bu budget video. And I love the way that looks in the corner. And then I just have this wood bath sign. Okay, so this is the view then coming out of the bathroom. All right, you guys, so now we're going into the dining room here. And as we come forward, our table is from Wayfair, and I can definitely link that below. That Be Thankful is from a haul that I did for you guys for the fall time. And this centerpiece is from Walmart. I just recently put it together and they have these beautiful like eucalyptus leaves. So make sure you guys go check that out. And then the rug is just from a local hardware store here. It's not my favorite, but I'm gonna use it for now. And then that's where we just keep our dog's food dish and her water. And then coming over this way, this is a cabinet that my husband built and we weren't quite sure where to put it when we moved into the house, but I love the way it looks right there. And it's actually from our old front door we had in our home, our very first house. And so on the top there, I just have a wreath that I made. That letter R is from Hobby Lobby. And then that tray is a DIY I did. And I can link that above. And then just this Hello Summer sign. And then that is from Family Dollar. And I will step back here and show you guys the light. This light is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I got made fun of a lot, but I love how it looks in this space. And it just pulls it all together. And that is from Wayfair. And this metal piece right here is from Hobby Lobby, but I got it quite a few years ago. But it works really nice in the space. Now out on this patio here, when we built this house, this was the one thing we were super excited about, is it came with a covered porch. So as you walk out, this is what that looks like. So this is our table set, and then we just have our grill. And I put this little gather sign up there. And then I planted some flowers and hung them from the top of the railing. And this is just a dog bed that we bought for my dog so she can sit out here with us. So now we'll head back inside. So now walking over this way, this is just a wine rack that we got from our wedding. We don't really drink much wine, so that's why you don't see any wine, but we did get this cute little fake wine bottle from my sister that says home is where the wine is. And um, this is from Target and then this is from Family Dollar. All right, you guys, so here is the kitchen. Walking forward here, we just have these bar stools from Target. And then on the center island here, we just have this really cute tray and it says gather and that is from um, Kirkland's. And this is from Hobby Lobby. And then I just have a candle burning right now. And then as you walk over this way, we just have our dishwasher and then this little rack here for our fruit. And then this, tray here is a DIY me and Carly did and I'll make sure to put that up above and then here is our farmhouse sink this is from Wayfair and I'll make sure to link it below but I love our farmhouse sink and don't mind the dishes <laughs> and then we just have our window here that overlooks our backyard and I have some tomatoes here that are trying to turn red I just picked them from the garden and then coming this way, I just have this bread box that I got from Walmart quite a few years ago. The gather sign or gather together sign is from TJ Maxx. And then these flowers are from Walmart. And then this is from the Dollar Tree. 
And I just have our toaster, our knife set, and then our stove. This tools container is from Walmart. And then I have some freshly made homemade cookies. And then our KitchenAid. And then our microwave is just right on top there. Then on top of the pantry, I just have this sign, and this is from Hobby Lobby. And then we have our pantry door that says pantry on it. And then coming this way is just like a little coffee station that I need. Coffee is from Dollar Tree, so it's a really great deal. And then this is from um, Family Dollar, but it was quite a few years ago. And I also want to show you guys my new rugs in my kitchen. These are from TJ Maxx, and I was so happy that I found matching rugs. So I love the way that they look. And they're kind of like that knit material and they work really nice in the space and now coming this way we just have our fridge right there and then that's our dining room wall there again and there's one little spot i didn't show you guys but this door leads to our basement and our basement is unfinished so i can just gonna show you guys this, but that's our stairs going down. And then there we have like a big um, family room and a bedroom and a bathroom and storage down there. So we plan on finishing that, but we will definitely do videos on that. All right, you guys, so let's head up the stairs. And coming up the stairs here, I have this really cool light and I love how it reflects like different patterns on the wall and that one is also from Wayfair. Okay so first walking forward here is the guest bathroom. And we just have like a white vanity again. Okay and then on the vanity we just have this plant that's from TJ Maxx. The mirror is from Hobby Lobby and I love like the rustic look of it and it's pretty inexpensive because I got it 50% off. And then down below here we just made this in another DIY and I just put some essentials for guests when they come. And then on the top the light is from Lowe's as well. It's the same light that was in the half bath. And then we just have a rug from Target. And so is the shower curtain. And then this, we just put like a floating shelf with this wash, brush, floss, and flush sign. And then just the bathtub right there. And then just a wall piece. And then on the back side is just a linen closet. So now walking out of the bathroom, we are going to go to this part of the hallway. So we have two bed guest bedrooms right there. And walking forward here is just a gallery wall that I made. And the only thing I know where it's from is the middle picture and that is from Kirkland's. The rest I've picked up from like different stores that really are just kind of local. So, and then I just made a canvas of me and my husband for our wedding. Okay, and coming forward here, this is the first guest room. I think I've only showed you guys one guest room, but we do have two. This is the bigger room of the two, and it just has a full size in it right now. Um, and coming forward, we just have this sign here that says, what I love most about my home is who I share it with, and that's from a local place here in town turn on the light here and then this really pretty vase is from Walmart they just got them in and then I showed you guys those flowers there and they're three dollars a piece and I have about four in there right now so I love the way that looks and then as you back up here this is just a really heavy comforter and then I just put some extra pillows that I had on the back side of there and that top little flower is from Hobby Lobby. 
And then that mirror is from Family Dollar. This chair is a chair that I found and just spray painted. And that blessed pillow is from Walmart. And then on top of the wall here is DIY that me and Carly did and I'll make sure to link that above. And then coming this way, I just have a end table here and I got this cotton arrangement. It's actually for fall and I'm probably gonna use it for fall, but right now I put it in here. And that is from Big Lots and the lamp is from Walmart. And then we have a big closet over here and I'll give you guys a sneak peek, but no judging. This is my decor closet. Yes, I'm aware. I have a problem. <laughs> so yeah, but a lot of this is for fall. I had this all cleaned out, but then it got carried away with all the fall things I was doing and making. So that will be cleaned out soon. And then walking out of the bedroom here, we're going into the next bedroom. This is what we use as like our primary guest bedroom. And this comforter is from Zulily. It's just a quilt. And then I just have our dresser here and a little stand. And then it just has the TV on top. And this stay a while sign is from Ross. The dresser, I need to find new handles. As you can tell, one is missing, but I cannot find handles that have the spaces far enough apart like these. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. And then I just put this little tray here with this remote and a plant. This tray, me and Carly made in a DIY, and I love the way it looks right here. And as you're coming over this little hallway stand, we have that sign that says be our guest, and that's from Hobby Lobby. And the plant on top here is from Ross. Okay, and over here, we just have the little nightstand. And then the sign that says, welcome to our home, the Wi-Fi password is, I had to erase it for this video because it was personal stuff on there. So, but it looks so cute and I love that you can do that for your guest. And that's from Hobby Lobby. And I just have a clock, lotion, and a lamp. And that is it in this room. All right, so now we are back in the hallway. And right over on this side, we just have like another little closet. And this just has like all my candles in, extra rugs, extra blankets, and then our board games. And then I have this really cute pellet table that my husband made for me. We are gonna stain it so it's all kind of an even color but I love the way that that looks. And then above it is just this really cute picture from, I think he actually got that from Kohl's. And then coming forward here, we just have a, this little, I don't know, I got this from a local store in town. And then those beads are from Kirkland's. The Thankful and Blessed is from Kirkland's. And then that clock is from Hobby Lobby. And down below is a DIY me and Carly did. I just changed it up a little bit. And then I just have some greens from Michaels. And I do not know where I got those. But yeah, that is what that table looks like. All right, you guys. So now I'm going to turn you back around. And this door leads into our laundry room. So I just have a row of pictures on the wall right here. I have our washing machines right there. And then this rug is from TJ Maxx. And then coming forward, I have this super cute rustic little shelf that me and my husband made. And I do have a video on that as well. And I love the way that that looks with this in here. It just brings it all together. These glass jars are from Walmart. The laundry sign is from Kirkland's. I don't know, this just has some like stain removers and stuff. That's from Ross. And then I don't remember where I got that vase. And then coming over here, I just have this Clayton single looking for a mate. That is from Hobby Lobby. And then if you come this way, 
I just have a little shelf here for different laundry soaps, garbage. And then I got this really cute separator from Zulily that says dark, light, and color. The only thing is it's very, very short. And then coming up here, I just have a countertop to be able to fold stuff. And then I also just have a sink. And eventually I wanna do some backsplash on this area. And also in the kitchen, we haven't got that far yet, but. And then I just got that wash and dry from Hobby Lobby. Then on the top shelf, I just have some extra towels. And that bin is from Ross. That laundry sign is from Hobby Lobby. And then I just got some extra laundry baskets and an extra bin. And then that's where I hang all of my clothes. And I plan on um, painting that as well. And then coming this way, I just have a closet. And there's just our vacuum cleaner in there. So, And then coming out of the door here, we go into our master bedroom. All right, so as you walk forward here, you'll just see our bed and our quilt is from Zulily. And then I just have two lamps over here and those are, the bases are from Kirkland's. All right, you guys, I had to shut off those lamps so I could show you a little bit better. It was having a glare. And then on top of the bed there, that sign is from Kirkland's. And then, like I said, those galvanized, um, little vases are from Kirkland's or Hobby Lobby. And then I eventually want to get different furniture in here, but this is what we have for right now. I might even paint it white. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. And then coming over to my husband's side here, he just has this three and that's just for our family, including our dog. And then we just have a candle. And I, like I said, this stand is from um, Kirkland's. Then on the wall here, I have this girl old along with me. The best is yet to be this sign. I got from a store called Gordman's. It's not really everywhere in the U S but I loved it because if you guys remember, if you're really big fans of fixer upper, they had this sign on there, but it was much bigger. And so when I saw this, I had to have it. And then I just put some curtains on our window there. They're just like a light gray sheer one. And then here is our other dresser. And then we have this vase over here and I, that's really old, so I'm not sure where it's from. And then that salt lamp, I think it's from Bed Bath & Beyond. This home is filled with kisses, wagging tails, wet noses, and love. That is, I believe, from the same store that Gordman's. And then that's just for our dish network. And then coming over here, we have another dresser. And then this is my gallery wall. And I do have a video on that I'll link above and you guys can see how I did that and where everything's from. And then to disguise our dog's kennel, because she sleeps with us in the room, um, I just put a blanket over it and I think it looks pretty good. And then I just put two pillows and the gather one is from a local store here in town, but you might be able to find similar ones. And then on my side of the dresser here, I just have the same lamp. And then this is from FabFitFun. And then I just have an alarm clock. And then walking this way, I just have a cross. And then if we go through this door, this is our walk-in closet. Okay guys, so this is our walk-in closet. It's kind of messy and it's kind of all over the place right now. But this is all of my side all the way to there and then my husband just has like this little side over here and we just bu built these like custom shelves in here which is really nice to have and then we also just have some extra storage in the back as well and then I just have some shoes down there okay so walking in even over here we just have our master bathroom these rugs I got from Kohl's and then we just have our two double sinks and then these mirrors are also from Hobby Lobby and then our lighting is from Lowell's or no Lowell's are from Menards 
It's another hardware store that we have. And then start each day with a grateful heart that's from TJ Maxx. Then we have this big window. And below it, I have my vanity. So I'm so happy that I did this in our home. But the only downside was, is it was supposed to be a little bit lower than the rest of the countertop, but it was already installed, so I went with it. But I do still love having it. And then I just keep my makeup on there and I have a little stool where I get ready. And then it has this drawer here where I keep all of my like makeup palettes and stuff. And then there's my side of this sink and I have the same mirror and light. And then that blessed sign is from um, Big Lots. And then as you come around, there's our shower. We just have a shower in our bathroom, no tub. And then we have this right above the toilet and that is from Walmart. Then we just have our toilet there and then we have that linen closet. And then on the back, I just keep my robe hanging up. All right, you guys, if you made it this far in the video, then it is the end of my house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel because we are going to be doing Carly's house tour very soon. All right, you guys, we will catch you in the next video. Bye.